Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Aliza Online. I'm Aliza, and today I'm going to review the Fisher Price Infant and Toddler Rocker. There are two basic recline positions here, an additional bonus feature. So here we have it more reclined, good for a young baby. Once the baby gets a little older, there are two blue buttons on either side. You push them in and you lift the back. That makes for a more upright position. Now what I didn't know about, but really wish I had, is the kickstand feature here, which is this bar at the bottom that you just pull out and it stops any rocking motion from the chair. And what I belatedly realized was that for a younger baby, this is a great position for them because when it's more chair-like and they can't sit by themselves yet, they kind of slump to one side or the other. So we would try to compensate and put things on either side to prop them up. But I think that if you have this kickstand out, you don't need that. And they can just look at the characters and just chill. So I think that would be amazing for a newborn. All right, so I mentioned these characters on the arch. So these characters are maybe the best things about this. Baby D loved them. She would be entertained for I don't know how long, just staring at them, talking to them from a young age that just got her social side going. They were her friends. And it's very easy to remove as well. There are just these levers that you squeeze in at the bottom and you just lift it straight out. So if you want your baby to see what's going on, they can just remove it if they want to play with a different toy. It's very simple to remove it and to stick it back in. There's also a vibration option here on the side. It requires batteries, but if you don't want to use it, then this rocker doesn't need batteries. Now, we never use it. I find it to be an annoying thing. Dee never really responded to it, so we don't really turn it on. What's also nice about this chair is that it really is infant from toddler, so even more than I thought, because apparently you can lay this out pretty nicely for a newborn, it's great for a newborn and it's great up to toddlerhood. Dee used it a lot when she was younger. Lately, she's kind of cooled on it um, just because there are more interesting things going on. But I imagine that this will come in handy once again when she's a little older and she wants to go look for a place to sit down to call her own. I could just envision her like having a snack or something and coming to sit on the chair. Um, so I'm really, I've been happy with it so far and I look forward to seeing how it can come in use. <laughs> in the future. I do want to point out that this doesn't rock by itself. It is not a self rocker. It's not even like a bouncer that bounces by itself. Um, if she got really excited, it would move a little bit and that would move the characters. In fact, it seemed like the characters were moving a lot, but she was fine with it. She never got scared. Um, it excited her. So it moves a little bit. You could rock it by hand. I never really did. Um, but really for us, it was more just a place to put her. It was a seat. It was something interesting, something different from the swing. The swing that we have is a snuggle puppy Fisher Price swing and it's big and it stays put. This, I just, I would pick it up with her in it and move it around the house, to different rooms. Um, we easily brought it places with us when you were going overnight somewhere. We even used it to feed her when we didn't have our high chair. Speaking of feeding and as this is for a baby, it does get soiled but it's very easy to wash. You just remove the arch. And there are prongs all along the side. You just have to lift them up. You'll notice from putting it in. You just lift them all the way around. Once all the prongs are removed, you just slip this part off. There's a pocket in the back that the wire frame goes on and that's it, very simple. Now I mentioned both a swing and a bouncer before. This is very different from a swing. This I did not find particularly soothed D, but it was good to entertain. It was a good place to put her. So more for soothing purposes, um, I would put her in a swing. A bouncer we never had. Uh, I was initially contemplating a bouncer or maybe a compact swing. I don't think I knew about this rocker option. We got it as a gift. Thank you, Judah. But in the end, I didn't feel the need to go get a bouncer because we were perfectly content with this. Dee was perfectly content with it. It's a simple piece, it's comfortable for a baby, and it works. So I didn't need to go searching for something else. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this rocker or if you have a different baby seat that you'd recommend to parents. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and hit the bell so you get notified about future videos. 
and I'll see you next time. You might want to press the blue black the blue buttons. Alright, you get the point.